Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Dubs Fest ROM based on Android version 12. So guys, let's begin. So here is the Android 12. The Dubs Fest version here is 12. Maintainer here is Redcliffe and the security patch level we get here is the latest to one and the kernel here is Redcliffe kernel going back this is the settings page going to the home screen this is the ui and it's just the stock android 12 this is the quick settings ui so going to the settings in the system these are the options and these is these are the gestures we get quickly open camera while double tap on the power button system navigation gestures and we get to see the option we can adjust the size of the pill length as you can see this is the pill length and we can adjust and if you want you can also hide the pill and we can also get the haptic feedback on the back going back this is these are all the options as i showed you we get to see the double tap to sleep on the status bar the advanced restart option and double tap to wake these are the gestures available here then this is just the settings page the android 12 going to the security the this is the security the face unlock here is still not available the fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine and the unlocking animation here is available as you can see the cool unlocking animation it just feels great while you unlock the phone and the phone has been encrypted so if you want to flash another room then you need to format your phone first going back to the wallpaper and the style these are the options we also get to see the themed icons there is a bug in the themed icon as you can see these are the theme icon i have enabled and the apps that don't support the theme icon it's just like this as you can see this so it is a bug present here with the themed icons that it tries to do the theme to all of the icons that does not support but it's in a way great but this is what it happens so yeah the dark theme here is available working fine going to the display options the adaptive brightness and everything is just the same talking about the customizations there are a whole lot of customizations in the dub space these are the options the battery settings we get to see the battery style whatever we want battery percentage the carrier label clock and date settings status bar items traffic indicators and miscellaneous then going to the quick settings customizations these are the options not notifications and we also get to see the blink flashlight for incoming call which is a new option available which is great then these are the useful fee options available talking about the lock screen we get to see the lock screen shortcuts if we want we can add but by default there is nothing but if you want you can add the shortcuts from here going to the system in the battery we get to see the battery charging light which is working so, talking about the system customizations we get to see the dark theme and we also get to see the pure black dark theme which is available then these are all the font styles available the the icon pack these are icon packs for the status bar icons and the quick setting icons then we get to see the wi-fi icon the signal icons we can use the custom color the modern engine if you don't want to use the system colors of the wallpaper so if you want to use the wallpaper system color then we can just turn this off the accurate shades and everything the color fullness so these are some options available and as you can see if we increase the blue blue color will just increase a lot if you see this so this is the colorfulness it will adjust according to the color of the wallpaper talking about the general settings the charging animation alert slider notifications as we don't get the alert slider so it's just not working okay moving to the home screen this is the clock style and as you can see already there is a bug here it is showing blue but outside it has been changed to orange color so this is a bug that sometimes the clock just don't adjust its color according to the wallpaper then these are the quick settings everything here is working fine no issues we get to see the option extra dim available here which is just great if you use your phone a lot in dark and you can also set the intensity for the extra dim 
then uh, talking about uh, the camera here this is the camera which the google camera here is pre-installed this is the another arnova g cam i have installed and this is the default cam this is the default camera this is the bsg mode cam this is also great but that arnova g cam here is better than this so if you want to then there will be the card available here watch the video for that g cam then uh, talking about the safety net here the safety net status has all passed so no issues with that all the banking apps google pay everything here is working fine then talking about the geekbench scores here are the scores 532 and 1688 so the scores are not that great according to android 12 the scores are good performance overall performance is also just great at 120 hertz the performance will be just great but at 90 hertz and 60 hertz you will feel lag i suggest you to use this rom at 120 hertz because it's best at 120 hertz the performance then talking about the drm info this is the system the security level we get to see the widevine l1 so no issues talking about the battery life here so this is the battery drain from 86% to 19% and I got only 2, 2 hours and 14 minutes of screen on time which is very bad and this is the 73% to 21% and I got only 3 hours and 6 minutes of screen on time which is also very bad from 85% to 39% only 1 hour and 20, 42 minutes of screen on time so you will get around 3 to and max to max 4 hours of screen on time on this ROM but the performance here is just great it's just very good the performance this is from 90% to 29% and i got only 2 hours and 39 minutes of screen on time so the battery backup here the, is really very bad but at 60 hertz you will get a good battery backup and also at 90 hertz this is 95% to 11% and this i was using at 90 hertz and i got 4 hours and 27 minutes of screen on time so at 90 hertz you will get a good battery backup but at 120 hertz you will get good performance at 90 hertz sometimes you will feel lag in the launcher in this system so i suggest you to use this at at 120 hertz but if you want a better battery backup then you can use it of course at 90 hertz or 60 hertz so yeah that is it now let's just talk about the bugs there are no major bugs kind of thing but i have faced a overnight battery drain issue like for once and also at night the phone had 54 percent battery and in the morning the phone was switched off so this is an issue that the phone automatically sometimes gets switched off and this i had faced once so it just it doesn't happen often but i had faced this for once that in the morning there was no alarm the phone was switched off then another bug here these are some ui bugs here present i'll show you so this is what it just gets this is the quick settings ui bug present here and this is how it gets the shaded from white to black and this is how it gets in the landscape mode there is a white spot here this is how it gets in the landscape mode so these are some bugs present here this is also a bug present here in this room that whenever you unlock the phone you will get to see this no recent items so this was also a bug present here another ui bug here is when you turn off the wi-fi this is what it shows the logos and everything and uh, when you turn on mobile data there is only a dot here so as you can see there is only a dot up present here nothing else so the status bar just gets empty when you turn on the mobile data as there is all these things present it shows only just a dot and as you can see when i swipe down the quick settings here also there is a bug that the time just gets cut out in the cutout <laughs> and this is a bug present here so there are only ui bugs not the major bugs present the only major bug was overnight battery drain and the switch off bug tag it has happened only once i'm using this from almost 10 days now and it had happened only once that is it for now if you enjoy this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye